Bonsoir, je m'appelle Madame Thorne. Here's my email address, thornm at thenellenschools.org. This is French 2. French 2 is a continuation of French 1. I've probably had your student in level 1, or I've had them in the middle school, or I've had them in middle school and French 1. Uh, so in French 2, we're going to be learning more vocabulary, more French culture, not just France, but other places in the world that speak French, notably uh, Quebec is a big important city, um, province, and places in Africa and elsewhere. So that's more of the Francophone world. Uh, we're going to be doing the past tense, uh, focusing on the passé composé, and the imperfect, which is a, um, is a past tense, uh, before we move into the future. So we'll be able to express ourselves in writing, orally. We'll be able to read and understand what we hear better because we will know more verb tenses and more vocabulary. So we're going to be using this book, Bien dit, um, and I've had your students get a physical copy because for a variety of reasons. Um, I've always preferred myself personally to have an actual book to look at. It's much easier to flip through. If I need to look at it more closely, farther away, it doesn't lag. Um, I can bring it to other places without having my computer. Uh, there is something to be said for an online textbook. It can be extremely convenient, um, but it can be inconvenient. And uh, if we can get the physical book, I would, I would prefer it. So I'm having all the students have physical book, and I will also be providing them with um, packets and other things so that they're not doing every single thing online. Um, and also another big part of it, which I have previously mentioned, is slowing down the computers, especially if your students are using Chromebooks from the school and they're doing all kinds of online textbooks, it can really get slow, uh, especially during Google Meets and if I'm presenting a, another document. It's good to have the, the book for reference. And there's a glossary in the back and so on and so forth. Um, so a little bit about me, if your student hasn't had me before. Uh, my name is Madame Thorne. This is my 12th year. I'm beginning my 12th year of teaching French in Denelle High School and in Lincoln Middle School. I have two children. I have uh, two boys, ages 6 and 3. So I'm still tired. Not as tired as I have been, but it's getting better. And I learned French after I went to college. So I learned it a little bit later. Um, however, I learned it very well because I was motivated and I always tell my students it is possible to learn a language when you are older. It is possible to learn it now. Expose yourself to the language. It's the best way. Knowing one language, okay we all know one language. Knowing two is better. Knowing three is great. So the more that you know, the better it is. Also, the more you take uh, language in high school beyond what is expected or required, the better it looks on a college transcript. So the syllabus is located on the Google Classroom. It was the first thing that we went over together. Um, so we have oral and class participation, which is a big part of the grade. And we're going to go over the grading in a moment. Um, what I expect from the students online and in the classroom is to be prepared. Have your book ready. Have your notes ready. Um, I would prefer them to write their notes. It's much easier to do accents that way. Um, it helps remembering better when you're writing it in your own hand um, as opposed to typing it. Students want to choose to type their notes on Google Docs and keep them in a French folder. That's okay. My preference is handwritten. And if I need to see something, they can show it to me on the camera, take a picture and send it to me while we're doing the online learning. The choice is theirs. It's up to them how they want to take their notes. Um, so they should have those things ready, their Google Docs open, or their notes and their book ready to go. Um, also, cameras must be on, mics off until I say not to have them off, and the face has to be completely in view because I need to be able to see the mouth moving when we're doing oral practice. Sometimes I have the mics off and you're just practicing, so even if you're just saying a French word and nothing is coming out of your mouth. I see that you're participating in making the movements. So I need to be able to see their entire face. 
and it not be um, dark. It has to be well lit. So students need to be volunteering when I call on them. They need to be prepared, paying attention, um, and also just be positive and not be negative. Don't use the chat in the Google Meet for personal conversations. Okay, leave that for teacher and student questions and answering things. If your student needs to have a private conversation, don't do it in the Google Meet. And another extremely important point of the Google Meets is to never ever take pictures, record, video, audio, or any part of the Google Meet because disseminating anything that you've taken a picture of or a video of or audio of is violating other students' privacy. So please make sure your student is aware of that. Um, so the grading for the class is as follows, um, which is different from the middle school. If your student was in the middle school last year or in a different school, it's different and the rigor is um, it's it definitely increased and there's more expectations. Um, things were a little bit more laid back in the middle school. Now it's high school. It's not going to be as laid back. All right, so there's four categories. Um, the first one is class, group, and oral participation. Um, so that's 15%. So that's just being in class, um, coming to the meets on time, being prepared, turning in the homework on time, and doing it well. Homework, 25%, that's special assignments. Practice usually, I'm not gonna give a whole lot of homework while we're doing um, online. I don't want the students to change with computer more than they need to be, um, but that'll change. However, projects, written assignments, and oral work. So there'll be oral projects. That could be a group project. We, we did those last spring. Um, written assignments, writing essays in French. We've done that since seventh grade. Projects could be video, Google Slides, all kinds of things. That's 30%. And tests are 30%. So. 15% class, group, oral participation, 25% for homework, 30% for projects, written assignments, and oral work, and 30% for tests. Please don't hesitate to email me, call, whatever you need to do. I would be happy to speak with you if there are any issues, comments, or concerns. Thank you.